Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to Minecraft 1.16.3. We've been going over every single step of getting Forge mods downloaded, installed, and set up up and running in 1.16.3. No matter what kind of mod you want to add, we're going to be showing you how to do it in this video. Now we are specifically going to be working with Forge mods, but most of the most popular mods out there are Forge. And yeah, we're going to be going over all of that in this video. I'm also going to be talking about how uh, 1.16.2 mods, some of them will work with 1.16.3, even though they only say they're 1.16.2 compatible and all that stuff. I'm going to be talking about all that in this video. But first and foremost, if you want to start an amazing Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and guess what? At Apex Minecraft Hosting, you can actually get a modded server set up in under five minutes in just a few clicks. You can even add mods to your server all from their web panel, and if you do have any issues getting mods in your server, they have a 24-hour support team that is always there to help you out, help you get mods in your server, help you go through any issues you may have running your server, and guess what? They're going to help you right away very quickly and very easily. Literally, you can go on their website and contact support, and you'll get somebody usually with under a few minutes, and it'll be great, and you'll be able to get help whether it's before you purchase your server after you purchase your server or at any time during your server ownership but yeah there you have that go check out apex the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to start a forge server the easiest and quickest way possible and start playing all these awesome mods that you're adding to minecraft with your friends i mean why not but nevertheless you're not here to get a server you're here to get mods up and running so let's go ahead and do that now in the description down below, um, you actually see this link. This is our Forge tutorial. Now, I'm assuming that you've already got Forge installed, set up. This will be updated to 1.16.3. It's just not now because I just recorded that video before this one, and it's not uploaded yet. But by the time this video goes up, this Forge tutorial will say 1.16.3. And then there is the text tutorial down here, which goes over everything as well that you need to know about getting Forge. You can either use the text tutorial or the video, whichever you prefer. But you do need Forge up and running and installed in order for this to work, right? We're assuming you've already got Forge installed. I've already got Forge installed here. It is good to go. So that is something we're assuming. And if you don't have Forge, go here, get it. We have helped over 1 million people get Forge. So yeah, we're pretty much guaranteeing it's going to help you out here. So go check that out, get Forge installed, and then come back to this video. Now, once you got Forge installed, it's time to download some mods. There's Quite a few different mods out there right now. We actually have a link in the description down below to five incredible mods for 1.16.3 that are all fully updated at the time of the recording. More will update over time. Just full disclosure there. More is going to update over time. But nevertheless, if we go ahead and the three we're going to be doing today is Xero's Minimap, World Edit, and here's what I'm looking at, or here's what you're looking at. So Xero's Minimap is where we're going to start. You're going to check all three of these mods in the description down below. They're all linked down there. When you go down there, we're going to start off with Xero's Minimap. This is actually a really cool minimap, so when you click the link in the description down below, it's going to take you to a dedicated tutorial for Xero's minimap, then click on the yellow download button there. But nevertheless, this is a really cool minimap. As you can see, it gives you coordinates, it gives you kind of like the minimap here, and that's kind of it. It's basic, but that's what I like about it. As you can see, it's got a vanilla look, which is pretty cool, and it runs smooth. It's not going to make cows any lag, really on your computer. It also does have waypoints built in, which I really like, and multi-world detection for multiplayer, which is not something you see very often. We've got coordinates on the minimap, you can do current biome on the minimap, and light level on the minimap if you want. You can configure all that, but yeah, overall, really cool mod. Now, for this one, what you want to do is come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, you'll see Minecraft 1.16, and then you'll see a version for Forge 1.16.3. So you want to make sure it says Forge and 1.16.3 on the mod. If you hover over there, and then you're going to be able to click that purple download button and get the download started. Again, we are doing Forge 1.16.3. That's going to become more important here in a minute. Now, every time you download a mod, it's going to ask if you want to keep the mod. As a general rule of thumb, as long as the mod name is in the file you're downloading, you're pretty safe to download the file, and it should be a .jar. So we're good to keep the file there. You may have to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Next, we're going to be installing World Edit for Minecraft single player. Same thing as Excel's minimap. You click it in the description down below. It's going to take you off to a dedicated tutorial for it. But just scroll down and click on the green Download World Edit button. That'll then take you here where we want to go ahead and look at the right-hand side again. Scroll down, and then we'll see World Edit. And as you can see, it says Forge for MC 1.16.3. So we are good to go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of this file because it says Forge, and it says 1.16.3 in the title of the mod, so we are good to go. Same thing as Xero's Minimap. It's going to download. It's going to take a second, and then we're going to need to keep it in the bottom left and save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that. Now, as you can see here, we have the Here's What You're Looking At mod. Now, this is the last one we're going to be installing in the description down below. When you click that link, it's just going to take you right here to the download page. But the thing about this mod and why I wanted to include it is if we do the same thing, right, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16, we'll see it says, here's what you're looking at, Fabric 1.16.2. Well, that's definitely not correct. It says 1.16.2 for 1, and then 2, it says Fabric, not Forge. 
Fabric's a competitor, it's another mod loader for Minecraft. But before you give up, always come up here to the Files tab on the mods you're looking at, right? Now, obviously, you could install this with Fabric, but then you wouldn't be able to have World Edit and Xeros Minimap. So that's not what we're looking for either, right? We want to have all of our mods. So the, here's what you're looking at, mod. What you need to do is click on Files, and then you want to scroll down and see what's in here. So as you can see, we do have, we keep scrolling here, here's what you're looking at dash forge now it does say 1.16.2 but i noticed over here on the right hand side it actually says 1.16.3 and let's not forget only two bugs were fixed in minecraft 1.16.3 from 1.16.2 it's one of the smallest major updates like main updates minecraft has ever had so because of that a lot of 1.16.2 mods just work in 1.16.3 they don't need to be updated and here's what you're looking at is one of those so as long as it says forge in the title there and it says 1.16.3 under game version we are also safe to click on that purple download button on the right hand side now that's what makes modern minecraft a little different you have to look around you have to make sure that this is working that's working you know is this the forge version is this the you know correct version of for forge like 1.16.3 forge version is all that happening and uh, you know it might be saying 1.16.2 but it could work in 1.16.3 so one of my recommendations here is once you install mods it's very very easy i'm going to show you at the end if you have any issues with mods how to find your mods folder if without like going in game if that's the case, if you have issues, that's okay. Just remove the mod, and then you can continue on. It's not the end of the world to install a mod and then remove it, as long as you don't play with the mod in like single player or anything until you're for sure it's working. But nevertheless, if we minimize our browser here on desktop, we have Xeros Minimap, World Edit, and the Here's What I'm Looking At mod. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so, and then have this Downloads file folder in Windows, and in here you will be able to find nothing else but your Xeros Minimap, World Edit, and here's what you're looking at file. Drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get these installed. Now you should already have Forge set up. You've went through our Forge tutorial, you should already have it set up, so because of that you should have a Forge profile, or you should have a profile like this, or play, called play.workgroundcraft.com, or whatever you want to call it, that should say 1.16.3-forge under it. If you do, click on that green play button, and if you don't, you need to go through our Forge tutorial, it's linked in the description, down below, go through that, get it set up, and then you'll be able to easily install mods. So anyway, we're going ahead and opening up the Forge mod loader here. Or I guess it's like doing the Forge mod loading process, and then it's going to open up Minecraft. But anyway, as you can see, it is all loading up correctly. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut, and I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, where we want to just click on this Mods tab. So right here, this Mods tab on the Minecraft main menu. If you don't have that, you don't have Forge. You need to go through that Forge tutorial. It's so important. It's linked in the description. I've mentioned it a thousand times, but it is very, very important. So go through that Forge tutorial. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this Mods tab here. And then let's click on this Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. So again, from the Minecraft name menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's then going to open up a folder called Mods. It's going to be your Mods folder here. Now just drag and drop any mods you want to install down into this Mods folder. Close out of the Mods. Make sure they're in there, right? Make sure they've moved. And then close out of the Mods folder. Now they're not going to be here, and they're never going to appear here until you click Done, Quit Minecraft, and then relaunch Minecraft. So we're going to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then from the Minecraft launcher, you want to select the profile that has 1.16.3-forge under it. Click play. And now when we open up Minecraft, we actually be able to kind of see these mods installing and working, which is kind of cool. So as you can see, there's World Edit, there's Xero's Minimap, and there's the Here's What You're Looking At mod. All three of those basically saying, hey, we're here, we're working. You know, we're... Well, this doesn't guarantee they're working, I should say. It's just saying, hey, we're here. And then it's going to register those and get those set up in Minecraft and added and all that stuff. So anyway, as you can see, it's now going through the loading process of Minecraft. And then once we end up on the Minecraft main menu, it is very, very easy to confirm that we can just click on. Oh, as you can see, so these mods are out of date. Xero's Minimap, would you like to open the mods pages? Um, you know, and I could say don't show again for these updates. And it allows you to open on up because older mods are compatible for 1.16.3. It's really weird. But if we go into mods, we do have Xero's Minimap there. We do have World Edit, and we do have the What Am I Looking At mod, which as you can see, you're using Here's What You're Looking At. It's because fork of an older mod called What Am I Looking At. But nevertheless, there's Here's What I'm Looking At. There's Xero's Minimap, and there's World Edit. We can also jump in-game and check these out. So let's go ahead, jump into the single-player world. I will see you once it's loaded up. So here we are in-game. As you can see, our Minimap is up there in the top left. I forget all the, uh, the different controls of this Minimap to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of pressing buttons. There we go. So I is going to allow us to zoom in, and I think O allows you to zoom out. Yep, I is zoom in, O is zoom out up on the mini-map, and then we can go ahead and hit U, and this is where we're going to be able to add waypoints. So we can go ahead and name this, for example, spawn, go ahead and confirm, 
done and now we have a spawn waypoint and even if we go over here for example like behind a wall or behind this we can see the spawn waypoint through that right like so so that's the mini map now we can do slash slash wand get ourselves a world edit wand here and let's go ahead and turn all of the sand in this little radius here to diamond blocks so slash slash replace sand diamond block bam and there you go that's proof that world edit is in fact working um, we could even do for example let's replace all of this grass right here um, with gold blocks so we can do slash slash replace and then we'll do a grass block Oop, grass block with a gold block boom there you go and now you have diamond and gold as your floor pretty cool stuff but that's proof that world edit is working and then the here's what i'm looking at mod's pretty simple all this stuff we're looking at up here in the center of your screen as you can see it says sand it says block of diamond block of gold and then we can come over here and see tall grass grass sand you know all that stuff that is proof that it is in fact working there's kelp and uh, does it work with mods? Uh, yeah, or it seems like it does work with mods. You just got to be close enough. As you can see, tropical fish, and it does show their health as well. So awesome stuff there. That is how you can add uh, mods to Minecraft 1.16.3. All three of these mods are working, and you actually got to see some of the weird quirks of 1.16.3. Even though here's what I'm looking at, said 1.16.2 in the file. Guess what? It is working 100% in game. And even though when we launched up Minecraft, it said that Xero's minimap was outdated. Guess what? We just pushed on through that. It said don't show the updates again. We're fine. And guess what? Look at that. We are now in game and it's working perfectly as you can see in the top left we can zoom in we can zoom out we can do all of that stuff and we can set waypoints here for example if we wanted to set another one test waypoint we can go ahead and do that confirm done and there it is there's the test waypoint so that is that thank you all so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week and enjoy your new minecraft mods all minecraft mods are installed in the exact same way now, if you do have any issues with Minecraft mods and you want to find your mods folder without them, let's go ahead and just quit out of Minecraft there. We're done. We don't need Minecraft anymore. I'm going to delete these mods off of our desktop as well. But to find your mods folder without going through Minecraft, let's say you're having an issue, it's pretty simple. Just click on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Just click on that little Windows icon, type in run, are you in? Oh, they have this run application. And then in this run application, type in percent, app data percent. So percent sign, app data percent sign. So percent, app data percent, and hit enter. That'll then open up your roaming folder. You'll then have a dot .minecraft folder here. And then in here, you will find your mods folder with, here's what you're looking at, world edit, and a controls minimap right there in it because that's what we installed in this video. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and pretty awesome. So thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have grief protected survival with aquatic survival having an awesome slash shot based economy and a medieval survival having a player based economy and 30 custom quests. We've also got Skyblock, which has fence generators, 1.8 PVP, and so much more. And then we also have amazing custom built from the ground up back with small team 10 player based factions a great shop balanced economy it's just amazing you will love it so come play with us play at is the ip and i cannot wait to see you online nevertheless my name is nick and i'm out peace